franchise has sold over 60 million copies of their record-breaking video games thanks to their main character, John 117, also known as Master Chief. He is a soldier that is usually armed with an assault rifle and a pretty damn cool suit called MPAA, which stands for Mjolnir Powered Assault Armor. This suit is so advanced that it would cost an estimated 1.5 trillion dollars. That is 10 times more than the cost of the International Space Station. So why is this suit worth so much money? Well, the MPAA suit has some amazing features, like its ability to work underwater, be unaffected by radiation, and have a built-in artificial intelligence. But let's face it, what makes Master Chief's armor so awesome is its ability to perform in combat. In order to take down a Spartan such as the Chief, you're gonna need to take down his shields first. This can be done with 10 assault rifle shots, 12 battle rifle shots, or you can just ignore the shields and shoot a rocket launcher at him. What makes these shields so tough is that they're as durable as two centimeters of titanium covering your entire body. But luckily Master Chief doesn't have to carry around that much titanium. Oh wait, yes he totally does. Beneath Master Chief's energy shields exists a titanium alloy that weighs 1,000 pounds. That's like carrying a grand piano on your back. But clearly the Chief isn't affected by this extra weight very much because his average running speed is 34 kilometers an hour with his top speed at about 60 kilometers per hour. That's about as fast as a racehorse. These top speeds are all made possible because of the amazing energy production of the suit. The MPAA has a small fusion reactor that has the same energy output as one liter of gas per second. So to wear this suit for an entire day, you would need 86,400 liters of gas. That's about 1,500 Phillips for your average car. It's no doubt that this suit is an energy guzzler, but it is pretty awesome, so totally worth it. So how many people have worn this awesome armor? From Halo 2 to Halo Reach, there's been approximately 21 billion games that have been played online. And since there's an average of about 10 players per matchmaking game, the Master Chief armor could have been worn up to 210 billion times, with approximately 136 billion kills occurring within those games. That exceeds the amount of human beings that have ever existed on Earth by about 23 billion. The extraordinary amount of deaths in Halo are largely due to the fact that there's, you know, deadly weapons just laying around the map. Take the rocket launcher for example also known as the noob's best friend. This projectile weapon can fire rockets at distances over two kilometers at nearly the speed of sound, with each individual rocket costing up to $80,000 a piece, making it the most expensive ammunition in the game. Another piece of valuable technology in the Halo universe is the Banshee. It is known for its versatility, being able to travel at speeds of up to 205 kilometers per hour while splattering people and shooting plasma bolts at unsuspecting enemies. These plasma bolts are composed of, well, plasma, which is the fourth state of matter above solids, liquids, and gases. Its primary function as a weapon is not to cause big explosions, but to cause severe burns. This is because plasma can be very, very, very hot, like our sun is pretty much made entirely of this stuff. So when a Spartan is hit with three to four plasma bolts, they are pretty much being hit with three to four pieces of the sun. Although, arguably the most fun way to utilize plasma in the Halo universe comes in the form of a plasma grenade. These one kilogram, 15 centimeter wide spheres pack about two liters of plasma in each one. If you were to land one of these sticky grenades onto an enemy, you could heat them up to 150 million degrees Celsius, hot enough to rip apart the atoms in their body. So thank you for watching. Let me know in the comments below what your favorite Halo weapon or vehicle is. 
Mine is the Spartan Laser and the Banshee, but mongooses can be pretty hilarious sometimes. You can also follow me on Twitter and Facebook if you want to see previews and pictures of upcoming videos. The links are in the description below. So click here if you want to see another science video, and click here because it is the awesome button, and you're going to want to click on that button. This is Jaxi wishing you the best of luck in your upcoming Halo 5 adventures, and I will see you next time.